Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Hopefully that's the stream that started. As usual, if we've got anyone in, if you can let me know if all of this is going well. Um, I can't see anything. I can't see anything wrong at this point, but I hope you all had an awesome week. If you let me, let me know what you've been up to. I have called this stream how much money does a lazy Etsy seller make? It's the beginning of a new month, so it's time for me to look again at my Etsy stats for the month of January. But apart from the little test I did for my videos, I have done so little to my shop. I've got a horrible feeling that I've got practically no items left in my shop. So lazy Etsy seller, I've done terrible not done terrible things that makes it sound more more dramatic but I've done nothing in my shop I really have to get started but let's see how January did I'm still trying to catch up with all the orders from from December basically so let's see how January did but I'm I'm giving you fair warning just now it's probably rubbish I see so bad I don't even know if it's good or bad and who have we got in the chat? We have Bexy Boo, hello there. Tinker Treasures, woohoo, I'm here. Woohoo, <laughs> me too. Great to see you here. And the wonderful Lily Tree as well. Good to see you, ladies. Right. Right, right, right. Let's, let's, let's you, you and me all, let's figure out what I did for the month on, on Etsy. Uh oh. I'm, I'm so worried that this is going to be terrible so there we go so I pulled up my stats and it's showing all time which looks so much better I showed you this last month this I'm super happy with this that's ridiculously good but I, I have a bad feeling about January um, oh some more in the chat we have Sarah and so so on I love saying that so so on so yeah uh, right, and Angie Cummings and Sue, good morning. Well, good afternoon, but good morning to most, most of you. It's four o'clock in the afternoon here, so I'm just about waking up. All right, okay, nervous. Everybody, cross your fingers, pray to the gods of of Etsy that I haven't done embarrassingly bad, but this is... I have to be honest about these things. I had a good year last year, so it's going to be hard to keep up with that. Uh, Tinker Treasures had the best month to date last month. That is fantastic, especially, I mean, for January. Like, high five, awkward high five, but high five. I don't know if that worked. Right, we're on, we're on the screen. Let's go up. Last month, oh no, we're not even, right. Last month, last month. How did we do? Okay, for January, still four four and a half thousand views and two and a half thousand visits. That's pretty good. You can totally see how from beginning of January, still flying high on the December stats, the good SEO because I've been having loads of sales, lots of visits, and then it just goes down, down, down. Gonna have to do something to make February not be that that case um and our total views are 10 percent down year on year from last year that's not bad and three percent up year on year for visits so actually that sounds good uh susan is working on stuff and listening so busy today it's unreal fantastic i'm loving hearing everyone's busy and had great months and stuff this is fantastic i and oh yeah before i go into let, let's come back to ugly mug i'm not hitting anything just now let's come back to face i just want to say like thank you all for bearing with me last week while i experiment exper experimented experimented with um what I was told, my, my mentor, that I'm not allowed to call a mentor, but um, on the course I'm on, I was told to try and hold back and try and make a good, one good video and put more effort into it rather than making lots of videos. So thank you for bearing with me the experiment. I'm definitely not giving up on needle felting ex videos. I have got some good big ones in the works. I've got um, 
I won't be able to get it done in time, I don't think, but I do want to do a kind of 3D tiger face for the Chinese New Year, Year of the Tiger, but the whole year's tiger, so we can be a little late for that. Um, and I've got some plans in place for some videos on how to sculpt every breed of dog. Um, not show, not doing everyone one at a time, I'm wagging my hands about, but how to like figure out the frame, how to figure out all the differences between different breeds, you know, the different type of muzzle types, the different type of hair. I hope that'll make sense. That's that's all in the planning. And also I'm gonna let gonna let you all know secretly already, I've also got in the plan I want to do a full tutorial on how to make a horse. And horse oh, horses legs, nightmare. I've made a few horses. They were great fun. So I thought that would be a really good tutorial. But these are all going to be so much more in depth. So I want to take my time and get them get them good. We might do some felt alongs for the more little fun projects. I'll see I'll see if anyone wants to give us a tutorial to work on. Um, right, right, right. Tinker Loving your starting out new videos, following them again, rechecking everything, still adding to my new collection. Lack of light is making it hard. I totally know that one, Tinker. I um, there's been times people always said try and make your pictures, your product pictures, sort of all similar, you know, same backdrop and everything. And I would start working on making my pictures better in spring, and I'd do them outside in natural light, and then I would realise that. It's Scotland, so we get about a week where it's beautiful, and then it's miserable, and then it's winter. So, <laughs> yeah, and it, it's dark all the time. So I have treated myself to some some lights, not proper studio fancy lights, not, not expensive things, but just to try a little bit and be able to take pictures all year round a little bit. Um... Megan, hi there. Um, Megan can't stay long, have work, but love this. Look forward to it. Thank you for what you do. Oh, you're you're so you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, Lily's saying she's told it was the year of the pig. Have I been misinformed? Ah, I'll have to check that. I don't think a, I don't think a a three D picture of a pig. Well, I'll maybe have to do some pig theme things. Okay, I'm gonna have to check. That. <laughs> gonna have to check that out then I might have missed out um but yeah okay thank you I'll check that before I make a total idiot of myself or we can just make it the year of the tiger between us um and Patty's Patty's here um sounds like wonderful plans for the year yep um well, that's it, <laughs> Patty. We, we have to plan. I'm doing my best. We'll see how it's going. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to thank you all for the support of my video that I made this week. If you haven't seen it, have a check. But um, yeah, totally, um, <laughs> totally been blown away how well everyone's reacted to this. I'd spend a bit more time just trying to make a better video. So thank you, uh, Lily. Uh, the Scottish Three Seasons. <laughs> close it's it's four seasons in one day we're known for and it's embarrassingly ridiculously true we get the lot like if you don't like the weather wait an hour there's a different weather coming along uh bexy this is the year of of earth pig oh okay that's that's interesting. So it is the pig, right? Oh, drat, I was hoping it was the tiger. Okay, so I'll, I'll do something else. I've also had a lot of requests for a Siamese cat, so I was thinking I'm going to be doing a Siamese cat head painting. A little bird blithe. Oh, I believe you messaged me on Etsy and I totally haven't got back to you yet. So, yeah, I saw, I saw your message. Um, I'll, I will totally get back to you. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, looking at the Blythe, the Blythe dolls. I've never seen one in real life, but they look really cool. Um, Tinker, yeah, definitely need to buy lights. I'm thinking of getting a stand-up one as my stuff's wall hangings. Yeah, um, that is much more difficult to... Well, not much. It's different challenge to, to light things that are wall hangings. Absolutely. And um, what I've been using, I got... Um, it's LED desk lamps, but they're on a clamp, so I can kind of just clamp them onto things around, all around the place. Um, if you, if you know what I mean, <laughs> so that just makes it easy. But they do, 
they are a little bit too bright. I need to get better lights, to be honest. Um, so, so, and thank you very much. Enjoy my videos. Post as often as you want. Thank you so much. I'm trying to be strategic because I'm trying to trying to use my my SEO knowledge and everything to grow not just my Etsy shop but to grow my YouTube to grow so I can learn more about online stuff. Oh, um, exciting thing I have to share with you all. Actually, I had I had an interview for a uh, online crafty magazine -y thing. I'm I'm not going to say too much yet. Um, if if she's on, she might pop up. But um, had an interview and they were talking. They were wanting she was wanting to talk to to me about starting a youtube tra channel for crafty people i think lily lily tree was, is the perfect person to ask as well she's doing awesome in her channel being a crafty youtube channel but yeah talking because there's a lot of people in the crafting world now they're selling on etsy they're doing their thing but they're also wanting to make youtube channels and it is it's a different it's different challenges, totally, um, totally different to to do how to how to figure out how to make videos for crafty people, you know, of our craft to make them interesting. It's a different challenge, which Lily is smashing. If you haven't, go and check her her wire wrapped jewelry. I would just damage myself trying to do that. <laughs> Lily fame beckons hardly. Uh, Patty, thank you so much. And that was my first interview like that. It was very, very cool, very fun to do. Right, should we, should we get back to what I'm supposed to be doing? Right, so yes, so the month. The, the, you tell I'm nervous about this, but so as you can see, January started well. That's the moment, moment that that word momentum from Christmas there's still some spillover momentum and then what you're seeing for the rest of the month is that's what I deserved from the amount of effort I put in so for January I've had 10 orders which is still fantastic and I'm chuffed with every one of them and that's a revenue of 292 pounds which is pretty good right I'm gonna hit on gonna hit on the compare so I I don't remember what this was last year I know I know I was doing this thing last year but let's let's Place your bets, people. Do you think I am higher or lower from last year? I'm I'm betting lower, but what do you think? How many orders do you think I had in January last year? And a wild guess of the kind of revenue. I'll let you I'll let you all take a minute to guess. I have no idea, but I just thought this might be fun. Uh Tinker sounds exciting. Yeah, it really it really was. What's really cool was these people were people I'd bought off in the past and I am um, I always thought, you know, they're a big company, they're professional people, you know, all, all this kind of thing. But then when you meet them, it's like if you're a crafty person doing YouTube or doing blogs or whatever else. Um, basically, when you get to meet them face to face and they're real people and they're nice people, the personal touch just makes such a difference. And far less intim intimidating than I thought, which was lovely. Um, everyone's saying higher. Yeah, <laughs> got, got to be higher. I'm assuming you're saying last year was higher, not that not this year was higher. Um, oh, little bird fly saying my shop's looking great. Thank you. so Thank you so much. Um, I have to work some more on it. I've got to work because I've got the Eat Seed Plus. We've got the carousel for the banner and I've got to work on making actually four more, three more images to go in the carousel so it carousels. Um, I, I saw last, did I say that right? I saw, that's cool. Um, what's the name of my Eat Seed shop? I'm Ben McFuzzy Lugs. Um, Tinker Treasures, higher. Lily Tree, <laughs> sudden flashback to play your cards right. Higher, higher. <laughs> Don't don't start calling me Bruce. <laughs> and there's only people in the UK who probably know what I'm talking about there. But I bet Lily's laughing her backside. <laughs> Wendy, hello, good morning. It's probably good morning where you are. Good morning, good afternoon, anyway. Right, so everyone thinks last year was higher and, and I agree. I, I am pretty much thinking last year was higher. I'm nervous to click this. Right, let, let's drink some more coffee. Hazelnut coffee. 
oh that's not bad um <laughs> no definitely down on last year i expected that but 17 percent down on orders which means this time last year i had 12 orders compared to 10 this year so that's not bad 21 percent down in money so i had 370 quid last year to 290 this year do you know that's not too bad i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with that actually for all the work I've put in so let's I'll say it now well I really want to catch I'm, I'm looking at the side here I have gazillions of little dogs and cats all in the way right I'll, sh I'll show you just for for fun let's get let's get back to my face I've got so many cats and dogs been working on this I love this little cat is that in screen little one-eyed kitty so cute with this gorgeous bright yellow eye I had so much fun making that um and she's she's got her friend and I've just got to finish off all little detail. I'm being terrible. I right, you you guys are crafty people, you'll know what I'm on about. But sometimes I'm really, really good at sitting down, making one item, working all the way through, finishing it up, photographing it, sending the you know, talking to the customer, shipping it, everything's perfect. But I seem my January seems to have been a very much Start making this thing. Let, let's see what other bodies I have here. Yeah, start making this random thing. And then, and then do, oh, that one looks terrible. Do another random thing, you know. So I'm working through my orders, but a bit at a time. I, I, I am scattered, scattered <laughs> just now. Um, a little bird, you're down on last year too. Your husband keeps saying it's the climate, people not getting paid till the end of January. Actually, that's... Let's do let's do face again. Let's do face again. Um, that's a very good point. In the yeah, um, people not getting paid, but also, I don't pretend to totally understand what's going on in America, but I know there's government workers who have been working, and with the shutdown, they were still going out to work, but not getting paid. Um, so they wouldn't have got their January pay, and people were quite rightly really panicking and not knowing when they're going to get paid so they've probably battened down the hatches so yeah um i hadn't even thought of that but of course that will make make quite a difference as well but i find this time of the year anyway the beginning the, the beginning two-thirds of the year each month is pretty random they're like a lot lower than than the end portion of the year but it can be up and down all over the all over the place because when it's when the orders are, are that much lower then if one person comes in with a big order that can skew my results for the entire month so there you go <laughs> patty thank you so much <laughs> lily the round to it's brilliant i'll finish it when i get round to it yeah that that has been what my january's been like uh, literally i don't i i have i have the focus of a, a flea or a dog when a squirrel runs past i'm like work on this already hmm? Hmm? yeah it's a total pain a uh, little bird yeah i didn't know there's a problem in the u.s that would impact a lot yeah like i say i don't I don't know the ins and outs people people are about to tell me but it's I don't want to do political because my understanding of other countries politics is pretty low but it's something like we all know Trump part of his getting elected campaigny thing was talking about building a wall and now he wants to actually build this wall but Congress someone tell me if this is right Congress don't want to give them the money to build the wall so that this sounds quite a lot like how James the second and all of it you know the English civil well the British civil war -y things but he's sort of shut down government because he's not getting the money I don't know I <laughs> sounds blooming ridiculous anyway but what it basically meant was certain um, certain government workers and it's it's not just like little things it's all sorts of things they they're just not well I believe the shutdown stopped for a little while basically 
because people are really struggling as you can imagine if you're told oh you've got to come into work but we don't know when we'll be able to pay you is terrifying and especially in January because you've spent you spent your December money and you've got nothing left <laughs> and suddenly you're being told oh your January wait January January wage isn't coming in so yeah that that could be a big impact but not my country I don't know I don't I don't really know all the ins and outs of it but I know some of my friends weren't getting paid and so so other people wouldn't be she, Sue has the same short span focus. <laughs> I think artistic people and crafters are pretty some of the worst to run a business, aren't we? It's like, I want to do all the things. And then you get 200 orders and you're like, yeah, I, I, I want to make something different today. I don't want to make the things. I imagine it's like what, like trying to hire Michelangelo, wasn't it? He he barely finished any of the commissions that he got because he was too too busy doodling pictures of helicopters and stuff. Right, anyway. Okay, so down on last year, but I'm happy with it. That's better than I thought it was going to be. And my traffic sources are still 50% uh, from Etsy, 25% direct, 17% social media, 4% other, which is always weird, and 3% external search. So really, I have to sort out this external search. This is what I'm wanting. I'm wanting to hit Google a bit now. Because for everyone who's talking about, oh, you want to um, like move on to have your own website, which is a great way to go. But if we can't figure out how to drive external search, if we can't figure out how to get people from elsewhere, then there's no point moving on to a to your own website because we just we don't understand it well enough. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Fifty percent from Etsy. Um, uh, Blythe. Little bird blind. There's a tax return before the end of January. Oh yeah, tell me about it. I just got my tax return. It well, not just. I I did get it finished. I was a little more organised. I got it finished. Um. Oh, and you would have purchased two dogs this month, but you had to pay your tax bill. Oh, thank you so much. So there we go. We can pretend that I wasn't down down the twenty percent. I had two two imagine two two extra sales that didn't come in. No, totally understand. The whole tax thing's a pain in the backside. I really shouldn't leave it till the last minute in January. I'm not going to. I'm planning. I'm planning on getting ahead of that this year. And Wendy's in the house. Wendy Taylor, good to see you. I know it is ridiculously early in the morning for you um for a Sunday. Cause uh, being being my sister we're not sis <laughs> back to face. We're not actually sisters. Um but yeah, I, I know you can't like mornings any more than I do. Um but yes, late but managed to wake yourself up. Yeah, you're you're only twenty odd minutes late. It's okay. We weren't taking the register yet. Um Wendy, I'm afraid of that. If my business takes off then it'll be too much like work. Yeah. <laughs> so understand that that's why I say that's why I'm doing that's why I'm diversifying into other things as well that I don't think I don't think physically my wrist could could survive having to stab full time like I, I was last year was probably almost about as hard as I could work on the felting and it's not quite a full-time wage because you have to keep taking breaks and do other things. So that's why doing really, you know, doing good at one thing, but trying to expand into other things. So, yeah, you want it to take off. You want to do well. But at the same time, always have the eye on what else can I use my creativity for, if that makes sense. Um, do, do, do. I, I, I see mum saying hello to Wendy, but not, not to her actual daughter, but... Hello to Wendy. Oh, little bird had minor heart failure as they charged me some of this year's bill too, which was unexpected. Oh, yeah, nasty. Yeah, when they, yeah, you have to pay a little bit in advance. It balances out like eventually it won't seem scary, but it's horrible. 
Oh, Wendy, it's, it's 11.24 a.m. With, with you. That's not so bad then. I thought you were in the the 8 o'clock, the 8 o'clock in the morning tribes. I have no sympathy. Even I was up before 11, went to sleep at 5 a.m. Is worse than me. I have no excuse, but it was about 3 a.m. here. Um, Sue, do you know if we search for our own shops, that counts as direct search? Um... So I don't actually know. It shouldn't. Uh, it search engines should know what's your own stuff, <laughs> you know what what's your own searches. But it could do. I mean, it certainly it shouldn't. It shouldn't be enough to make a difference to the to the system. I mean, I got direct was six hundred and sixty nine. So. If if my search counted, then that's just one. I'm pointing at things on the screen, and you see my face. I'm really rubbish at this, um, <laughs> but but yeah. So it shouldn't. If if it does count, it'll only count once anyway, um, and so it shouldn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> Wendy, hello, Mama too. You guys are ridiculous. A uh, little bird loved your video on promoted listings. Help me think. It would be good to discuss advertising on Google sometimes. Yeah. Um. Thank you so much. I'm glad the promoted listings helped. I totally. Yeah. That's something that has helped me so much. We'll go into what my promoted listings did for this this month as well because I haven't looked at that either. Um. I have done. A comparison. I did a video about a year and a half ago where I did some of the Google ship shopping adverts through Etsy, and I'll I'll tell you right now, I did not like it at all. It was just costing me money. There's unlike the promoted listings, there's no way to. I found no way to control the campaign. It's but it's just basically you turn it on, and they decide how much money you're taking. Um, Actual Google advertising using AdWords and stuff is not something I know much about, but I, I've done a little bit on Facebook and things. But I know that's much better because you can target, you could pick your demographic, you know, you know the, the, the niche that you want, the people that you want to try and sell to. So you could set up an advert that was only for a certain demographic a certain area only had certain interests so that's a much better thing and um maybe when i've got free money to to throw away i'll have a go at figuring that out possibly but yeah i've done i'm gonna say the google ads through etsy my from my experience don't touch them but they could well be a thing like i know people say promoted listing ads don't work for them and they tend not to work for them if your SEO is rubbish. So perhaps my SEO is not good for Google just now. So the Google shopping ads didn't work so well. Although it should be because I do focus more on Google than Etsy, to be honest. Um, oh, thank you, Wendy. Um, <laughs> oh, little bird fly. That's so sweet. Thank you. I, I changed your life. <laughs> with my video on promoted listings thank you well I'm glad to help because that was tips that that I learned and played about with and it made such a difference for me right 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 back back to screen so what are my search terms oh still I'm top for cat lover gift which is actually this is one of these terms that it is so difficult for me to rank for I don't try and rank for it but when I'm making lots of sales and because still tend to get some traffic from Pinterest and everything that one item does do well um Wendy only on Facebook and a little Instagram so I have no clue yeah but don't say that like it's a bad thing though it's much better to be really good on one or two platforms than to be a bit average on 20 all of these things all of social media you know Etsy YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of these things and um, pretty much they they want you to be <laughs> to be busy on them. They want you to be active on them. So you do have to put to be successful in any one of them, you have to focus on that one basically. Ooh, clink. Um, I wonder if it's too much that I've spent on promoted listings. One hundred and forty-eight dollars and made over six hundred dollars. Well, 
Right, I can't say totally, but if that's giving you good enough profit, <laughs> um, oops, sent by mistake. But Sue, so if that's giving you enough profit that you're happy with that, then that's pretty good. Um, it depends on how much your items cost and a lot of other factors. Roughly, I would say many people I've spoke to get around 10 times back what they pay in promoted listings, but that's over average. So you're possibly a little on the low side. I would, what I would check, um, what's your cost per click on that? Is maybe work on dropping down your cost per click slightly and you might spend less money and still get the same amount, but you're still, it's still like from any advertising I've ever paid for, that's the best return of any other advertising. So it's fantastic. Wendy, it's a matter of choice and if it's helping. Yeah, completely agree. Uh, Wendy, your daughter's been coaching you. <laughs> Great. She doesn't sell, but she's good on the social media. Fantastic. Uh, Little Bird Blythe. Yep, yeah, exactly. Depends on the margins. Um, uh, Sue meant to say over £600 in promoted listings alone, but the fees sound hefty. Yeah, that's you've got to, you've got to figure figure out exactly how much you're really spending with all the fees and everything. But still, $600, I said pounds, didn't I? $600 is awesome, and it, it sales that you wouldn't have had. So if, with the fees and what you've paid in promoted listings, you're making a profit, then you're still getting good, good feedback for your shop. You're getting what will hopefully be return customers, loads of extra cool things. Um... <laughs> Wendy made her daughter set up Instagram, but I don't get it. Totally with you there. Excuse me, coffee coming back. Um, I'm with you there. I am using Instagram. I promised you guys I would try and figure it out for this year. I don't get it though. It's like Twitter for me. It seems like you you take a picture and you put up a pretty picture and that's all nice, but apart from like I don't know, it, it seems, in fact, I should have put face up again. To me, it, it seems like an even more creepy version of what I used to think Facebook was. But people that you don't want to, everyone can follow you and look at your pictures. And that's about it. Or you can look at their pictures. And I can't seem to, I don't seem to understand searching on it or any such thing. I look at the feed and I like a few of my friends' pictures, but... Facebook seems much better. Uh, Sue, it was too high. You've changed it to five cents per click. Yeah, much better. That's that's the thing to do to experiment with. Just drop it, drop it down and drop it down. You can totally tell. I did some experiments with increasing the price. I went from two cents. I think I went up to about five cents and then I went to 10 cents. You can see absolutely if it's way too high. If your views through the day, if your views and clicks, it sort of goes up and up and up and then somewhere about lunchtime, it just dies. And that just means you've spent all your money in that day and you've not been seen. So you've got to, well, you would either have to increase your how much you were spending but we don't want to do that you drop the cost per click so that you're not getting seen so much in the morning and then once all these people that have died at lunchtime do you know when you're talking and you realize the words that are coming out of your mouth once all these people that have died at lunchtime but once all their adverts cut off then you start getting seen and you're not spending too much too much uh yeah we have rosani in the house did i already say hello oh hello um uh, Wendy saying to Wendy, she lurks on Instagram but trying to figure it out. Yeah, I'd, it's, it's something we've got to figure out. I felt, I still feel the same about Pinterest. I know people love it and I post stuff on there and I get good traffic from Pinterest. I just don't understand it. I like Facebook because we can talk and have discussions. And I like YouTube because we can have discussions. It's people. I'm talking to you guys. Um, Wendy, yeah, super creepy. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks so. It just seems like social media stalking rather than having a relationship with people, you know, friendship. Um, 
Lily's trying to get the hang of Instagram, but I need to be more disciplined. Yeah, my plan. I'd said I was going to post every day. And also, I'm pretty sure if you want to do well on Instagram, like any of them, you have to niche down and focus on one thing. And I... I can't do that. I take a pretty picture of one of my dogs. I, I think I put up a picture of a frozen waterfall yesterday. You know, I I just put my life on it. So I'm never going to do well on Instagram. Uh, Sasset, that's how you feel about Pinterest. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one. We, we, just don't, we just don't get this technology. I know some people love Pinterest. Um, the weird thing is, I've never heard anyone say that they love Instagram. Someone is going to be in chat that I've missed it already. I've never heard someone say they love Instagram. I've heard people talk about how they get good traffic from Instagram or they have lots of followers, but I've never heard of how they use it as as a fan. Uh, you know, it's always how people use it as a tool for promoting themselves. A uh, little bird, Blythe. Oh, I honestly can't do Facebook. It scares me a bit because it takes so much time. Okay, yeah, it, it is a time suck. It totally it is. Um, but I I enjoy it because it's it's a lot more interactive. You can talk to people. There's groups and everything. But yeah, I get I get strange though. It is not everyone is big on Facebook. Um, Wendy Pitt. Where's your message gone? Um, so the chat goes goes fast. So th this is cool. You guys are talking so much that the chat's going fast that I'm leaving it. Uh, that I'm leaving it, losing it. See, it's really hard to talk and read at the same time. Um, Pinterest seems for more for people to get ideas. Yeah, I totally get that. I, and I liked that idea of it seemed good. It's like when you're looking for something, you can make a board of things. And I do use it for that myself. I, I've got a board of ideas that when I'm searching, go, oh, I want to make that animal. I want to do this thing. A little bird blithe. Social media can be a time suck. Oh yeah, any of it can be. I'm I'm sure we've all even if you're just selling on Etsy or en anything, if you're trying to sell stuff or promote stuff, that's the worst though. Like you put up I, I bet I know some of you all have done this. You put up a listing on Etsy or you put up a post advertising something or whatever, and for the next two hours, like every every minute you're looking going how many views have I got has anyone commented on this it's like what a waste of your day and what kind of bizarre vanity to be checking back and going have people liked this thing what a <laughs> yeah it's a wasted time uh Sue's got a few orders off Instagram fantastic that you, you will have to teach us the secrets there I've got nothing through Instagram I don't think I even get much traffic through Instagram a little bird blithe, yeah, a necessary evil. I know when I started my Etsy shop 10 years ago, but it seemed every other week someone was saying, oh, you've got to have a Pinterest, you've got to have a Twitter, you've got to have a LinkedIn. I don't understand LinkedIn at all. You've got to have Google Plus, which is dying, but it's like every platform and they were saying you've got to, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. And what I'm going to say is you don't got to do them all there's there's no way you can build a following on all of the things find the thing that you enjoy being on and build up there and then once you're comfy and you know what you're doing there doing the hand thing again um and once you're comfy and you know what you're doing then move on to the next thing um assess it with instagram you just have to find people in your niche group crew yeah cool, yeah of course which I suppose makes sense why you're niching down you're just having that one interest that one focused thing and then people will start finding you and following you yeah um Patty's gotta head out grandson having grandson having a meltdown makes me crazy oh <laughs> well see you later Patty and thank you so much for dropping by I hope grandson's okay <laughs> Uh, Wendy, my daughter has Bookstagram for books she reads and she's been trying to help. It's just getting your info out there. Oh, cool. Bookstagram sounds sounds cool. I've heard people on YouTube do booktube um, things things to do with books. I, I, lo I love reading, but I'm terrible for these kind of things because I, 
I just read the same book, not the same one book, I've got a ton of books, but I read the same author and I read again and again. I don't do like 40 different books. I, it's like, you know, I don't do 40 different books every year and then throw the ones out. It's like comfy slippers. I like I like a lot of fantasy and what like sci-fi world. So it's like putting on your comfy slippers, go, going and, and visiting a different world. Um, but yeah, Bookstagram sounds fun. Oh, Wendy, yeah, Twitter, Twitter is creepy. The notification saying so-and-so is following you. It's like looking behind. I remember a, a meme was going about a little while ago about um, if if real life was like was like social media, and it is, sort of following people. and <laughs> It's all creepy when you think of it in, in real life. I, I have Twitter. Um, I, I'm probably doing quite well on it, but again, I never got it. I, I switch off all notifications for these things because it gets ridiculous. So I don't know what's going on. I'll look back and like, there's 400 people added me, and is that a conversation? Or what am I supposed to do with this? It just doesn't make sense to me. Ah, it jumped again. Um. I saw I saw a message I wanted to reply to. We'll read out. Um, oh, here we go. Um, Sasset Sheldon Instagram is thirty percent of Etsy traffic. Well, wow, that's fantastic. Well done. But well, well done. That's really good to be driving that much because that's that's something that you can drive to everywhere else as well. <laughs> Lily never get used to the notification that so and so's following you. I'm glad we're all creeped out by this. Um, Bexy, when I post on Instagram, I do seem to get a few more shop views and likes. Oh, cool. My direct views have gone up. I assume it's from there. Now, um, I thought Instagram showed up as, as separate, but I have heard that certain things from certain social media... Um, they're reported as direct and some things say they come from the social media so it could be but yeah if you're getting if you get results from it for whatever reason then it's worth doing it might be nothing more than although social media links are not supposed to be as important as other links but if you're putting up links then the you know Etsy's may be saying oh look this has got so many links to it that that might just even be what's happening uh, but Wendy you're right that they, they will need to teach us we need classes in how to do this Instagram stuff um, oh so that's it you can have up to five accounts on Instagram ah that's maybe that's what I should be doing right thank you for that I'll look into that that makes a whole lot more sense and then I could put my my dog walk stuff in one place and the actual needle felting in another um, yeah, definitely, right, we're, we're needing class, classes. I'm losing the ability to speak. And Wendy's trying to post two to three times a week since I've just started a Facebook business. Yeah, I'm trying, trying to get, to get out there, have a regular schedule is a good thing to do. It's hard, but it's a good thing to do. Um, but you do get, um, well, you can on Facebook, you can schedule posts. So if you're the kind of person that, um, tends to sit down and do everything in a big chunk you could schedule them so that they come out they drip feed over time rather than having to remember to come back and post them every day or two <laughs> Sandra Insta is hard so you have to transform yourself to be cool <laughs> yeah I, I don't think my bum's big enough for Instagram Sorry, I don't know if I can say that, but yeah, you you have to be able to pose in a certain way and look as I'm I'm just not cool enough. <laughs> but Sandra, of course you're cool. Um, ah, stop jumping, chat. Um, little bird, yeah, just <laughs> you're ahead of me there. There's apps to help you control posts. Um, to to your accounts. Hoot sweet. Uh, yeah, I've I've heard of these. I haven't. I haven't tried them myself, but I know of them. Lily, yeah, people do talk about LinkedIn so much. I have totally never understood it. Uh, yeah, because people keep saying that, especially 
you've you'll have you've seen as well the YouTubers ones. They're talking about what they're doing on LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a a job thing, a business thing. Weird, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a different cultural thing that I think in the UK, like if we're doing social media or if we're doing Etsy shop or whatever, people don't tend to think of that as business. Like business tends to be suit and tie in in the bear pit kind of thing, whereas we're not seen quite so businessy. That doesn't make sense. I know what I'm thinking. Um, a little bird blithe. Yeah, you love Audible because you can listen while you work. I haven't tried it. I know lots of lots of people do, and it, it's the big thing for advertise. Uh, that's maybe I should get into it so that I can get them to advertise with me <laughs> on my YouTube thing. Uh, Sandra, the flat flatly thing on Insta is so hard. Oh, crikey! Yeah, I, I I have no idea what that is. Um. Rosanna, yeah, you don't have to do them all. All I really want with my Insta presence is to direct people and learn and to buy from my Etsy shop. Yeah, um, that's really the tricky thing with most of these social media platforms. And you'll know, I know you're tra you're building YouTube, and that that's the thing is, most of the time we start all these things because we want to drive traffic, but in general. Instagram and Facebook talk to each other, but in general, all these platforms don't talk to each other. So you kind of have to want to build up on Instagram. Think of building up on Instagram for Instagram's sake, and then the views and stuff will come later. But it's it's hard to drive people from one place to another. It's better to build them up as a as a community on Instagram, which is tricky. <laughs> Lily, at least we don't get poked on Facebook. I actually saw that somewhere the option to poke is still there. I was super tempted just to poke someone, but yeah, that was creepy. And it was always people you didn't want poking you. And I'm going to stop saying the, that this sentence is not going to go in a good way. So I'm going to stop saying that. Uh, Bexy, yeah. Um, looking at my Insta posts, you don't add many tags. I know. I know I'm terrible at tags. I I can't be bothered. <laughs> I've got to write. No, that's, that's, I, I will start adding tags. I do sometimes, but yeah, I, I'm not very serious about Instagram. Yeah, tags. I, oh, 30 hashtags, but yeah, I, you're, you're right. <laughs> I, no, I will. <laughs> Sassets agreed to teach Instagram classes. Awesome. Um, so, so on. Seen um, LinkedIn like an intro resume. Yeah, that's what I felt. It was, um, we call them a CV in the UK, curriculum vitae. Um, but yeah, it, it seemed more of a thing that, that yeah, it, it was that kind of business thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra, the poke stuff is back. Oh dear. Right, anyway, what where was I doing? Thank you guys for distracting me. I love this. This I was just thinking. I'm not gonna better do a long live stream. I'm just to, I've got nothing planned. I'm just gonna talk about what I've done for for the month and that'll just take two minutes. Marissa, hi there, good to see you. Um right, what have we got? So yeah, the search term. So cat lover gift, needle felted dog. So I'm getting found for not the long tail keywords at all, um, but for the the biggie tricky ones. But yeah, that's that's my usual top ones. But there's, there's pages and pages of it. All right, so let's have a look at the websites. So as always, Etsy is my top. Uh, Pinterest, well, that's a couple couple there. So that makes about two hundred and fifty. It's about 10% of my views. That's very quick and bad maths. Um, so yeah, Pinterest and then Facebook. I spend the most time on Facebook, but that just shows you can't, you're not driving much traffic at all. And getting someone from YouTube. Let's let's see some of these other pages now. I have an etsy.me. I don't know what this is. Land.bitten.io. Anyone got any idea? 
is what that is. Um, got 43 views from Google. That's okay. It's more from a different start of Facebook. BR.Pinterest. This is when you dig in, this makes no sense. <laughs> Lots of different Pinterest places. Um, some more from Google, Pinterest. Yeah, I don't know what half of this stuff is. Oh, got some, some found me through Bing. But anyway, yeah, there. That's a bit of fun. All the other things. Uh, Lily, once we start having a natter. Exactly. That's the best way. Okay. And so my pages viewed individual listings are finding the most, which is cool. And then about 500 coming to my shop. Right, what else do we want to have a look at? Uh, let's let's do the promoted listings. I haven't looked at that. Oh, it looks like they've moved the analytics. Just yeah, the search analytics. No, they were there before. I'm being an idiot. Yeah. Okay, last month. <laughs> oh, Wendy, everyone woke up and wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Okay, so we can see my promoted listings. Yeah, I'm a bit um, spent forty dollars, got two hundred and forty-four, so five orders. So actually, that's like half of my my monthly sales are coming from promoted listings. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. What a what are my cost per clicks on? I'm at five cents just now. I have been higher, um, but I dropped drop down but yeah that's pretty good just checking that I'm not yeah that's probably a little too much at the beginning of the year because I'm spending spent my limits at two dollars so I'm right what day was that the 15th of January we'll see we'll see if I can see something to show you guys um e 15th Oh one, not twenty ten, nineteen, fifteenth, oh one, nineteen. Is that gonna let me do it? Oh, maybe not. Come on. Right for the full day. Oh my. Oh, actually, so that didn't top out. I was still getting views right through the whole day, but that was about as close <laughs> as close as you can get. So you can see I am still getting views. So the five cents is, is okay. It didn't, it just switched off at about 11 o'clock. You can see where it goes down to nothing. Um, no impressions is just saying that my ads had switched off. So yeah, so that's okay. Five cents at $2.00 is still working for my promoted listings um, and yeah it's usually the same kind of ones ones for me this little dog does fantastically on promoted listings i have no idea why but he does um yep yeah, nothing nothing exciting there but i just want to dive in again the search analytics beta i'm falling more and more in love with this so we'll be looking looking at that more um yeah so that's january check the chat again um a uh, little bird blive i think you do great on live streams i have no idea how you keep up the chat i've never done live on youtube the thought is scary yeah um I think it's still on my channel, but if you go back about two years ago to my first ever live, you'll see it's something you need to practice for sure. My first live, um, I had it, it was just set up on my phone. I put my phone on a tripod, I hit and I talked blah, 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 like that for about four minutes and then I freaked out and I finished. Um, the trick, I'd say it takes practice it's a learning curve. It's kind. It's really weird because I'm talking to a webcam just now, which is super weird. Quickly to full face, um, 
and you have to get used to the fact like when you're talking to people or a group of people when I say things I'd be able to see if your heads are nodding or if you're going she's talking mince I just have to imagine in my head that you're all agreeing with me so I can keep talking because you d it takes like about 30 seconds before I get feedback that you, if you guys are saying I'm speaking rubbish or not. So it takes practice, but it's also, it's great because I get to actually talk to you guys. Um, and I know like, like Wendy said, she loves it. Her daughter loves it when, <laughs> when I mention her and stuff, but you know, it's, it, it's, for me, it's what makes YouTube such a great place, different from any other kind of media because I can really talk to you guys and get feedback and you know the shows the shows ours but what I'll say definitely give it a go um but have something planned assume that nobody's going to turn up and then so you've got something to talk about plan it like it's going to be a real video and then just go for it do your thing and then if people talk then that's that's even better because you can you can talk back to them um, but yeah, it's scary. It's only the past wee while that I don't like totally get really bad adren adrenaline rushes. But even so, when I come off this, I'll be kind of buzzing a wee bit in a good way. But it's terrifying. <laughs> it really is. Uh, Sandra, you think it's backlink bots? Ah, right. Yes. Um... Lily didn't even know there were lots of different Pinterests. <laughs> I, I think that's just for different countries. Um, they just have their own suffix. Pre they, they just have their own dot <laughs> dot thingy. Uh, <laughs> Lily, how very... Wendy, how very dare they? Uh, Sandra, Eatsy is harassed by lots of different bots. Ah, I didn't didn't know that um Wendy wait there's more than one picture yeah I I just I just meant different countries will have different like like I'm on Etsy but what comes up for for me can be Etsy.com UK or stuff it's all the same thing <laughs> Wendy hasn't finished her coffee yet so no one should be talking in her house <laughs> How terrifying do you sound? It's like it's nearly lunchtime, but nobody speak. Oh, that reminds me. Total as an aside, I've got a, I've got some friends who are on a Facebook group. Does anyone know what Mrs. Hinch is? It seems to be a cleaning thing. I think they're on it mainly for a laugh, because some of the things that people put up are absolutely ridiculous. Like I don't know. These people don't know how to to live in modern life. They're all obsessed with like being such a level of clean freak neatness that it's worrying and someone posted the other day on this and I can't believe it they're they're posted wanting help and advice because their daughter when she sleeps is a wriggler and she wants help to know what to do because well the bed's a mess when she wakes up I'm just saying. so so we were all advising things like how to tie your daughter to the bed or staple her feet together but it's just sorry the bed needs made when she wakes up it's not tidy while she's sleeping people are crazy um tinker saves hashtags on the pc so you can copy and paste that's good thinking i believe right am i making it up but instagram when i first got my account you didn't used to be able to use it from a PC it used to just be a phone app I think I've got that right and so it never made sense to me because people were saying you promote your Etsy shop you promote your Etsy listings and at the time phone cameras weren't very good so you were supposed to make these beautiful pictures with a phone camera now phone cameras are insanely good so that's totally different um doo -doo -doo. Uh, so if you see your search results drop way down, do you shut down your promoted listings? No, um, no uh, do you mean where thing items getting found in the search or do you mean the, the actual number of impressions dropping? If the actual number of impressions just drop off like, like that, it all that means is you've used up all of your budget 
and Etsy switched off your promoted listings for that day. So if I see that happening, then I drop my cost per click or I would increase how much I was willing to pay if it was doing really well. But no, that's just saying you're paying too much for each click. So your your listings aren't on all day. Uh, the other way around, if I have items that used to be doing well in the search and they're dropping way down, all I would do is is check maybe my search terms are not being searched for as much as they were or there's some superstar player come into the game and bumped me off the front page or something but I keep my promoted listings on for all of my listings because no impressions gives me feedback as well you know if an item's doing rubbish it doesn't cost you anything because it's doing rubbish but it gives you some data saying well maybe people don't like this maybe it's rubbish um hello there george how are you doing um <laughs> wendy hates the sound of her own voice i doubt i'd ever do it but the magic is i can't hear myself it's you guys that have to listen to me <laughs> sandra great to great to have you with us anyway you have a great day um Creative Living, 507 conversations. How do you sort them all out? <laughs> yeah, that can be tricky. Uh, Joanna, hi there. How are you doing? Good good to see you. Great when people can make it. <laughs> Wendy, oh my word, kids are messy. <laughs> uh, Marissa, oh yay. Uh, Lily, nobody sleep. Uh, Joanna, how do you price an item when you're the only one that makes that item in that material uh joanna that's it can be tricky but i know you, you're saying you don't have anyone else to compare to but even when you do have people to compare to you have to price it in a way that's fair for you for the work you're doing so the cost of the material how much time you put into making it and and this is where the if people aren't going to pay for the price for your time, then maybe it's something that's not worth making, but people will pay for the price for your time. So you figure out a kind of hourly wage that you would be happy with. You figure out how much the materials cost. You factor in some time for all your promotions and the time it takes to package it up and all the other things and and then you add a little bit for <laughs> for all the extras just in case you want to do wholesale or something but you just decide how much you need for it and yeah don't worry about making it too expensive you know it, it doesn't sound like you'd be the kind of person that's been too greedy some people put ridiculous prices on things but if you're asking for a fair wage then just stand by that just say that is the price of it because you don't want to work for total strangers for no money your times you could spend that time with your friends or with your family so they can pay you for the time it took that's that's my feeling on it uh instagram doesn't work well on the pc it's limited it's better from the app yep um rosani absolutely put a price on what your time and costs are worth a creative living yeah who likes the sound of the, your own voice yeah that is the difficult thing for anyone who's doing videos that is so the difficult thing i editing videos was the hardest because i had to listen to myself and you spend the first probably 50 videos going ah that's me and then with time you're able to look at it more objectively and say okay it's me it's still my voice it's still cringy but that's better than what that bit was uh, my delivery's good there that's a lot better so you get used to it um uh, Bexy, you can't do much on the pc which is annoying but send your, ne your nice camera pictures on the pc to put to my phone through OneDrive. Yeah, that's that's what you used to do. I think you can put I'm sure I've put some pictures up from my PC now. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wendy, your projects are worth two billion dollars. <laughs> uh, Joanna, you'd make your items no matter what. Well that's it, doing it for love. And 
that's everybody has a different reason for doing the things. So if you're making stuff because you love to make it and I'm trying to think of a way to say this that it sounds right in my head. I'm not saying people don't value their time. Some people don't need to make a don't need to make a job out of this. It, it's what you do when you're sitting in front of the telly. It's what you enjoy. You just want to sell it to get rid of it so you can buy supplies to make more stuff. So that's your hourly wage is different than what someone who needs to make a living out of it. And also, if you're just starting out and you don't have that kind of following, then maybe your hourly wage would be less than when you've been going 20 years and have hundreds of clients. Um, so, so yeah, but loving what you make, that's the perfect thing. So definitely get your money back on materials and then charge charge what you feel you want you want to get for it. Like, some people get really sniffy about it if you don't charge enough and say you're devaluing your work. But you're not. If if you don't want to make massive money from it, then charge what you charge what you think's fair for you. That's that's all I can say. Oh and and Daniel Dan I can never do Daniel and Danielle. Daniel has sleezed into sleezed into our live streams. Sorry, get like guys. I I should that sound so. I'm just sounding so bad today. It's because I've gone over an hour. I can't do talking well. But whenever Daniel comes into a stream and he does his well well hello, it just sounds so carry on. It well hello. I did that badly. <laughs> Terrible. Um, Joanna, it's not only for video makers. It's also for us that do live streams. Yep. Yeah, um, a little bit. I'm losing track here. This I'm loving it. This chat is going so fast. I'm getting so distracted. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> little bird. I don't edit videos. People get me raw. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. So, well, then you can go live so easily. You just you're just recording and it's just going out straight away. Um, yeah. I, do you know the, there's some good stuff to be said for that as well. I used to in the beginning. I used to edit far too much, but not in a good way. Like, see, see that I did a breath there. I used to take out all of them. I used to take out every little pause, and it just looked so terrible. But now, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the fact that sometimes I can't speak as fast as Daniel. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Motormouth, who's doing, um, if you haven't checked his channel, he he did one minute, well, not what was it, 15 second tips on certain things. Absolutely ridiculous. I can't do that. Um, chat, stop jumping. Uh, creative living. No one else is thinking the same as you. They're just listening to what you say. Hey, well, that's cool. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying hello to everyone, which is awesome. Wendy, yeah, you sell stuff to be able to make more. And that's awesome. That is so cool. And that that's a great way to do it. And it, it gives you the space, especially, I mean, your pieces are so... Wendy, if you haven't checked her out, makes needle felted items as well. But um, I made a video talking about your witch a while back, and your pieces are so so big. It's fantastic. I can't do in that kind of scale. But yeah, you have to sell them, to, else your house would be overrun with fantastical things. Um, where are you? Oh, this chat is a pain in the backside. Uh, George knows what I mean about editing. Yeah, <laughs> you do. It it gets easier. I I'm about six hundred videos in now, so it gets a bit easier. They're not all they're not all edited. Some of them are terrible. Everyone needs to watch my first ever video on this YouTube channel. It's not edited at all. It's it's me and my dog for like about thirty seconds. It's terrible. <laughs> Daddy was happy with sleezing into a stream. 
Uh, George, yeah, could, ooh, matron, but I'm not going to try and do that because I can't do that. Um, I love to paint. Right, I'm going to get your name wrong. I'm going to try it. I, Alea, 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 I'm wrong. But hello, good to see you here. Um, another one of our YouTube community. And if you guys haven't checked her out, she's doing a painting a day on her channel for the month of February. So everyone should get over and check her out. Um, creative living, what am I using to edit? I am using Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm not quite posh enough to use the whole full thing, but I, well, I, it's what I've used for the, the probably longer than many people are alive now. Um, but yeah, it gives me everything I need to be able to do. Uh, Wendy, let's face it, you're human and have to be able to breathe. That, that is, that is, top advice there Wendy thank you so much uh, Marissa how long after you start do you raise your wages should a shop owner wait until he or she has a certain amount of orders uh, that is totally up to you Marissa but I will show you a little something if I may it's my stream so of course I may um, so if we go back to back to the screen Go back to my, this is my all time orders in my shop. And um, what I did like way back here, I started in 2008, but they don't have the stats for this. So I started way back here and my prices were generally tiny. It was pretty terrible. They were all over the place. I settled on prices about here, what I was gonna do. And that was when I did my learning about SEO and all that other nonsense. And then, so what was that? 2013. So my prices were set. 2014, I did pretty well. Um, I was happy with that year. And then in 2015, that was the first ever year that I had to shut my shop early because over Christmas I had too many orders. So at that point, oh, I wish I wouldn't get all these pop up. Can I just point? Can you all see me pointing? So at 2015, you can see that. I think, right, I'll try and get, yeah, the blue line's the number of orders and the greeny blue line's the revenue. So you can see there was a bit of a peak there with the actual number of orders. And at the end, well, at the beginning of 2016, I put my prices up because I just figured, well, if I've made so many sales I can't keep up, then this is the time to put the prices up totally nervous and you can see in 2016 my actual number of orders dropped but my revenue increased which awesome isn't that what everyone wants so that was totally cool so putting putting your prices up might slip do it at a point where you're comfy with the amount of orders and then it might drop the orders, but yeah, I made more money for less work. That's the way to go. And because last year was epic that that's the kind of graph that everyone wants to see because last year was epic I've put my prices up again so yeah good good point actually when I was saying my January sales were down that's probably a whole lot as well because my prices are up a fair bit so that's that's when I decided to put my prices up that that's for me I put my prices up when I'm doing better than I can deal with but it, it's up to yourself I stop skipping when I'm trying to answer people I saw Joanna saying what size is my bullet journal and then it's gone away yes bullet journal is here um I have to I haven't done February's layout yet but whatever size that is that's a5 possibly does it tell me anywhere it doesn't tell me anything about it but it's it's kind of it's bigger than my head so <laughs> um yeah that that's that's the bullet journal. Yeah, I'm sure this is like an A5 notebook that I've got. Even though I have my bullet journal, I I still do a lot of doodling and everything into a regular notebook. But yeah, that's that's her, and I've got to I've got to do February's. Um, Little Bird Blythe. Do we need to check out Daniel's channel? Yeah, actually, you, everyone should go over and check out his channel. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a good guy, cool stuff, and his son is pretty awesome. Uh, Daniel actually has two channels, but he counts his other one as 
not as important, but I, I, I enjoy it more because it causes him pain. So Daniel also has extreme food reviews where he eats ridiculous and revolting things and really spicy things. And now he has his, his, his self channel, but yeah, you need to get over and, and check him out too. Um, Daniel does talk fast. He's from New England. We've run over words with other words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it works out. At, at least you're clear. Understand most of the time what you're saying. Lily, pacing is a new thing. Not too fast, not too slow. Yeah, totally agree. I was watching back some of my old videos just for funsies. And, oh, wow, I was so slow. I'm not super fast now. I know that, but... I, I think that's the thing when you're everyone who's doing videos when you're editing yourself and you get and you're watching it and you're going oh that was a little bit better that kind of little improvement over the course of a year without even thinking about it your delivery hopefully gets a little bit better and you get a bit more comfortable and you get a bit more oh yeah that sucked a bit less but Lily, yeah, I think yours is nice, nice and clear. And it's different when you're, when you're doing a crafting thing, that can be that doesn't have to be quite so fast as when you're doing a how to do YouTube, wow, in your face. But if you're doing a crafting thing, I like I like your speed. I sit back and listen to you, and it's kind of relaxing. Um, <laughs> oh, Wendy's going to get herself adopted by Daniel as well. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> careful, Daniel. She's my sister now. And she's stolen my mum. So watch out. Uh, Bexy's got to shoot off as Molly is climbing up and tapping me with her paws for her dinner. 5pm <laughs> and they just know. Oh, yeah. Well, Bex, see, see you later. But, yeah, I have to say. I've got a joke going on with a, a load of my friends in a dog forum that I'm on and we call it the 8 o'clock stare and my dogs get fed at 8 o'clock but even my friends' dogs that don't get fed at 8 o'clock at around about 8 o'clock the dogs just sit and stare at you it's like either they're telling people that the kids need put to bed or they need out for their walk or mine are needing fed but they just know it's like that guys, it's, it's, it's 8 o'clock have you noticed it's 8 o'clock? <laughs> Yala, I, I'm i making it worse when I'm trying to say, I love to paint and what's worse I totally, when you're speaking on your videos, I totally understand how to say your name but I can't do it when I'm under pressure <laughs> As Sena, um, just got here starting Eat See again, I want to do something every day, even if it's just changing photos order, fantastic You, I know you know how I feel about that, absolutely I I think when you started, when you were doing last year, you were doing awesome, but doing so much work all at once, and you just, a little bit every day is the way to go, don't burn yourself out, because your, your work is awesome, so yes, keep that up, um, <laughs> Wendy loves new hamster, <laughs> a lovely nuclear power plant, so Daniel lives in the Simpsons world <laughs> and the ocean. Uh, creative living, is that a one-off or payment or monthly pay? Check check me out remembering the conversation I had five minutes ago. Um, Adobe Premiere Elements is a one-off pay. Uh, it's the Creative Cloud, it's Premiere Pro and all the rest of them, they're a monthly pay and it looks so expensive but um, Premiere Elements you get um, I got the bundle that has Photoshop Elements and Premiere Pro Elements and they're they're a one-off pay mine's about two years old now um, I can't tell you how much it is I don't think it was massively expensive compared to what it normally is George yeah you take out the errs and ums unless they're close to other words absolutely yeah I, I try I'm getting a little less bothered by it if the general pacing of everything's good. But yeah, I totally hate that you've done a great line and you're going through, but you've run together the wrong words or something and it's impossible to cut it and you didn't do a good take. I'm really good at doing that or really bad at doing that. 
but who I think it was a Nick Nimmin from his old 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 videos might have been Nick Nimmin but a good one is if you're if you're cutting out some ums if you're cutting out some bad things and it looks terrible that's the time to pop some b-roll or pop a picture over it so the sound might sound okay but you look all jumpy and terrible that's <laughs> that's something I should do I just let myself jump and look terrible Daniel touting for a job on the tourist board again <laughs> Daniel's the guy in the toll booth who says, I hope you're not staying long. <laughs> uh, we, we we have a similar similar thing here, and it, it, it's being slightly racist against people from Edinburgh. There, there's a thing, Glasgow and Edinburgh. I think that any cities that are close together, there's a jovial competitiveness between them. And we always say the difference between Glasgow and Edinburgh is, well, it's about five o'clock just now. And if you come into a house in Glasgow at about five o'clock, they'll ask you, they'll, they'll say, you'll have your tea. And in Edinburgh, they'll say, you'll have had your tea. So just see who gets that anyway. <laughs> uh, Rosani, Daniel is indeed rocking with the special effects. I, it's, it's great fun. I'm really wanting to make an effort and do more stuff, but so many hours in the day but yeah and his channel is completely blowing up and doing awesome as well and well deserved oh goodness sake every time I stop and stop paying attention the chat jumps and I can't say <laughs> George Daniel is the hair god so right we all have hair envy although we don't all have wigs that we can just stick on <laughs> Uh, Wendy, is there some advice for YouTubers and livers that says to say how excited you are? Because everyone says that 597 times per video and it drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, Wendy. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. So many... It's it's because we're people and we're a bit rubbish. But yes, I know. I'm so excited to do that. And, and people do... Um, it's because the trying hard to put across this passion and it's not necessarily real or yeah it's nerve-wracking but but yeah my advice that I should take myself not over saying how excited you are but if you keep if when you're editing you say the same word constantly then cut it out and and stick it in front of your camera like stop saying awesome or <laughs> stop saying that word all the time uh, Marissa, you're most welcome. Um, <laughs> little bird blithe. Yep, more money for less work. That That is my mantra to live by, I think. That's the way it should go. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's how we should all live our life. <laughs> Daniel says George has got great hair. Keep it in the closet and only wear it on certain videos. <laughs> that bends, bends at the floor at my feet. It, come up for cuddles that's if I'm doing weird hand movements uh, Lily glad glad you're not the only one late with February I know I, I'm I'm terrible with months February snuck up on me and it's the third already have to have to get on with it um, George has lots of hair put away ready for the new studio <laughs> can't wait to see that that sounds awesome <laughs> okay what am I Daniel saying pain is good if you like that. So, oh, when I was talking about your channel, that ch I'm so far behind with chat. Um, ridiculous and revolting things. Yep. Um, Rosani, yeah, the yeah, there, there. Rosani's got the advice. Um, the tip is just to be genuine about enthusiasm. Yeah, it it's difficult because hey Ben, it's um. <laughs> It's difficult because you do have to amp up a little level of fake enthusiasm. I mean, I, it still amazes me, right? Everyone who's actually editing themselves in in videos will know this. It's like you can be doing a take and if you know you're editing, you do a take, it goes wrong or I shouted a dog or something. And then suddenly you go... YouTube face and it always makes me laugh. I'm going like, well, you should happen at the plane. Hello, 
And I'm sure everybody does that now. You can just go from whatever you were doing to click on a little bit of extra energy, but it has to be genuine, but maybe a little bit more than normal. And George, yeah, um, again, it is because George is another another Brit, um, but absolutely being in the UK, all of this is a lot we someone someone said it well when they were talking about when they had a C, cv or a resume and they had to have one for america and one for the uk because in america it's more normal to big up everything and to be more enthusiastic and to be more i'm going to make this great and i'm going to be awesome where in the uk we tend to be more reserved about these things rather like let let our actions speak more than our words. So yeah, it is it is tougher to be from the UK to appeal to an American audience, but it's such a big world now. So so people do seem to to take the more laid backness and and not hate us for it now. Stop jumping chat. <laughs> Rosani, yeah, like Tabasco or jalapeno. I I I have to admit, I, I did try the putting hot sauce on ice cream a while back. It, it, it kind of works. Um, Lily, no, you're not in your face and you don't have to be. I think you're perfect for what you're doing. I think if you were waving around wire cutters and, and stuff and being in your face, <laughs> then, yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, Wendy, I did... Oh, um... <laughs> Wendy stealing my mum, yeah, just sharing. <laughs> I really need to, but th this is really testing my memory to be which bit of the conversation are you guys replying to? <laughs> George, great tips that I'm completely not sharing there, but yeah, Premier Pro is cheaper if you buy it from Turkey, <laughs> use a VPN. Yeah, I, I didn't advise that. I, I haven't actually... Strange that this sounds. I've never got around to using a VPN yet. I have to, I have to do that something. George, yeah, s stop saying so at the start of sentences. Yeah, I I saw that in. Oh, right, yeah, Brian. Uh, most people here know Brian now, and um, with uh, Brian G Johnson. A few of us are in in his course for trying to improve our YouTubiness. And he challenged me to make a better video last week. And part of that was to do more editing to it. And oh my goodness, after three days of looking at the same video and stuff, and I'm going like, that's three sentences, that's three clips in a row that start with the word so. And if I try and clip out the word so, it just didn't work, didn't flow nicely. And oh, see, by the time... Some of you guys will know what I'm saying here. By the time I came to publish that video, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Usually I'll go, I'll film, I'll spend about an hour editing it. I'm pleased with it. I publish it. And then I'm like, yeah, that was cool. But this one, it was like, I hate this. I'm going to bin this video. I absolutely hate this if I see this video again I'm going to kill everybody in the vicinity <laughs> so yeah I, I, I don't know how often I'm going to do things like that again um, uh, Lily I wish there was a post-production post enthusiasm <laughs> editing with oh I love that yeah. colour correction volume correction energy adjustment <laughs> that would be so cool yeah Right, guys, guys, I think I've got to the end of chat. I think I think I have to start thinking about winding this up, mainly because I'm starving and I need my tea. Um, and I don't, that's an hour and a half might be an actual bit of a bit of a record for for me. I'm not good at doing the super long videos. I'm not Nick Nimmin. Um, so any any other questions, I'll give us a five minutes to to wrap this up. But this has been this has been a load of fun. I've enjoyed this. Um, Wendy, oddly, it was such a good one. Oh, thank you so much. Um, 
Little Bird of Blythe. I think self-promotion as a British person is difficult. Maybe it's just my age, but I think that might be why I struggle in social media. I know exactly what you mean there. Uh, yeah, but it's cool. We've got we've got a few Brits in here, so I think you you understand that it's it's not something that sits so well with us. So it is hard, and I watch I watch lots of like. Evan Carmichael and Gary V and everyone talking about pushing, you know, pushing themselves and all this, um, what do you call it, the pyramid selling things that has a fancy different name that makes it not sound like pyramid selling. And they're, everyone's pushing that as if this is something to do, you know, something we should be doing. And I'm like, no, I don't like I, Oh, and yeah, the thing that annoys me the most where I'm going with it, the thing that I hate the most is there's a closing the deal, closing the deal. And that just reminds me of being in shops when the salesman's properly in your face and not taking no for an answer. And if, for, for me, if anyone starts doing the hard sell, I go across the road and buy it from someone else. I hate that kind of thing. Um, George T, dinner time. Ah, oh, you're a soft southerner, right? <laughs> so yeah, the the big the big nationwide argument is what do you call the last big meal of your day? <laughs> it's uh, it's tea here unless yeah no it's pretty much tea for me. I know some people call it dinner as well, but I can have breakfast, lunch, and tea, or I can have breakfast, dinner, and tea because Christmas dinner is in the middle of the day and it's dinner, so dinner's a big meal. <laughs> Daniel, tea gets in the way of another live stream. I know, curses that fact that we need to eat. Uh, I, seriously, the, the Nimmons, the Nimmons must be on a drip or something, <laughs> just to keep them going, <laughs> keep the substance. I mean, what's I think their record streams. Look, they must be up to eight hours or something now. That's that's a full day's work in just talking at a camera. That is weird. But they do it so well. Uh, <laughs> Nimmons, watch out. Yeah, Lily, no, that'll never happen. And like, well, I, I don't have the setup for a studio here, but unless you wanted to come up here and, and join me and like help me carry a stream, I, I'm still going to keep saying that Lily needs to do a live stream. Wendy, thank you so much, and you have an awesome day. Uh, Little Bird Blythe, yeah, it's been great to. Great to see you here as well. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, creative Living. Yeah, I'm sure that's the self-promotion. Doesn't come easy. George Christoffi. George uh, Funnel. Um, no, there's something that, there's. It's like uh, MLM. That's it. Multi-level marketing. That's what I was thinking of. I, I, I'm not sure I quite understand what people are talking about when they say a funnel now. It's probably the same thing. Um. Wendy, you see that I like like them myself, and I'm not fake. That's that's why I like YouTube. That's we're we're not we're not proper polished media, not at all. Um, Rosani, yeah, thank you so much for dropping by. I uh, George London born, live in the Midlands. See, said you're a southerner. No, <laughs> I grew up in the Midlands, so I know dinner and tea are kind of fifty fifty in the Midlands anyway. Um, Wendy, that's nonsense. I'm not sure what's nonsense. Pyramid. <laughs> okay, everybody, Lily's saying let's do it. So, so me and Lily are going to live stream sometime together. George, the wife got into MLM. M MLM, it's a con. I know. Has, has anyone got a Juice Plus person on their Facebook page? Here's a picture of a cute dog. Like it and I'll message you with Juice Plus things. <laughs> no. Don't use your Facebook page to try and sell Juice Plus or diet things or whatever. Anyway, guys. Um, a little bird flies in the Midlands too. Cool. Um, Wendy, that would be fun with Lily. It totally would. Right, guys. I, I have to run for my tea, dinner, food type stuffs. But thank you all so so much. This has been this has been real fun. Thank you. Um, remember and catch. Remember and check out all the other channels in the feed because we have some awesome people in here. Right. I will catch you in the next.